Hi guys, today I'm going to make a very short video on the Adderall Firewire interface and it's the Adderall Firewire FA101 model. This is from around 2005 when I got this and um, it has an external power supply if you want to use it as a small personal mixer. When you hook it up to the computer, you get access to the direct monitor mixers using Azure Direct 2.0 monitoring. Now this is a feature that Azure 2.0 has that allows you to route ins and outs using your DAW. Unfortunately, in 2020, there's not many DAWs left to support Azure Direct Monitoring. So, uh, going a bit more further into what this feature was, this is so you don't need an application, a separate application, to do your routing. Okay, you can do it within the DAW. But unfortunately, many applications today don't support it anymore, so you're kind of out of luck. Now, in terms of the latency of this unit, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you after you install this unit, okay, the normal way. So it, this unit works in Windows XP, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, even in Windows Vista, Windows 10. I don't know what other OS this thing will go through if, when, if there's going to be Windows 11 or 12, but whatever. So it works on all those operating systems. Now to access the latency settings, you go to your control panel and you have your Adderall FA101 driver settings. Okay, and I have it set to minimum. That's what we want, the lowest setting as possible. Okay, now these settings are smaller and smaller. Let's go back again and just make sure that it is set. So we're going to go to smaller and smaller, right? Now we have to turn off the unit and turn it back on. All right, so we do that. We have for the unit to restart. The sync button comes on, and there you go. Now we're going to test the latency here. We have it hooked up with a cable in and out, not going through any DAW, mind you. This is just through a cable going in and out. Okay, now let's check here, mic in, and let's go ahead and check this. Okay, so we have 13.2 milliseconds, kind of high. So uh, virtual amp sims are going to be out of the question for doing this live. Okay, for, for synths, eh, you can get away with it, but you need to get under 10 milliseconds for synths, for MIDI. Okay, so that means that it's just too high. Okay, now the humans under 10 milliseconds, some humans are very sensitive to that and under even 8 milliseconds they can detect it. Okay, some people just don't care. Hammer on, hammer offs on the electric guitar, yeah, you need very low action. The re uh, action on the guitar and you need very low latency. And now here is uh, the registry settings, okay, um, that we're going to uh, refresh. And these are the stock settings that the driver installs. Now, I'm going to go to my safe settings here, which is 700. These are the safe settings with some external with some external plugins like Waves and things like that. But my recording, uh, which includes uh, stock Reaper plugins, EQ, compression, just like you would have on an interface with DSP. That's what I base these numbers off from. So 500, that's my recording uh, numbers. So I can record with compression, EQ, and even a reverb going on all on 10 uh, tracks with no problem. Uh, when you add Waves plugins and the other ones, then you start to have issues. The high CPU usage, you're going to have clicks and pops. So we're going to go um, to restart the interface because we have to do this. We are no longer using the control applet in the control panel to change this because it doesn't allow you to, to change these settings. Okay, so we reboot the interface and power off and on. That's how we reset it. Uh, let's run the uh, RTL utility again from Oblique Audio. This is free, and we can download it. Okay, and let's check what the uh, latency is. Okay, so 8.33. That is the latency that I record at with some stock Reaper plugins. Now, those plugins don't use too much CPU. That's why there's no clicks and pops, even when monitoring. Okay, so... The settings here, you would say, well, just choose Nest Buffer. The, the driver's from 2005, the, the interface. So the drivers have been updated for newer operating systems, but they didn't add any features. There's still no control software for uh, this uh, hardware, for the Adderoff A101. Other interfaces after, with USB, they got an application uh, control for routing. So that's the settings here, 800 samples, 96, 96. Um, that's what we get out of it. We can't get any lower than that. I'm sorry. That's just the hardware itself is from 2005. It's just older. Okay. So here's the log for it. Here's the settings. So you can see. 
and we're going to clear table and that is how you change the um, latency the settings for latency for the Adderall FA 101 you cannot do this through the control applet there's no settings there for it you can't choose your sample rate your samples nothing nothing at all this is done mostly through the front of the interface which shows you the uh, the sample rate that you change uh, which is this pod here so you change it down to the, it's at 96 right now so if you want to switch it to 192 you have to shut off the unit off and on that's how you reset the unit but anyways that's how unit works here's the direct monitor mixer that allowed you to do that but unfortunately like I said it does not work anymore because most DAWs don't support this anymore uh, I know Cubase still works so if you have Cubase you're still in luck you can still use this feature but again, it was a kind of a compromise between, uh, you know, it routing in and out without having a software interface for it. Uh, later on, when these, uh, when Adderall, even Adderall itself, when they came up with the, the 66, uh, that was USB-based uh, interface, and that had an applet, okay? So what you want these days, if you want lower latency, is a simple EQ and a compressor, and maybe some reverb feature as a DSP added onto the interface. So that avoids having that inside running on your DAW, which creates latency. So that's actually an interface I'm looking for right now, because this one here is still going, but it doesn't have that feature. I have to monitor reverb or anything like that always through the uh, inside the computer, which adds some latency, okay? So anyways, that is how you do that. And if you want to know the key, it's computer, HQ, local machine system, control, control set, current control set, services, RRWD001, config, DB, settings. Okay? That is how you do it. All right? So thanks for watching, and take care. Uh, have a Merry Christmas, and happy out the holidays. Stay safe.